My office was tasked with the responsibility of launching a civil investigation into the New York City Police Department's response to these protests. What we found was an egregious abuse of police power, rampant excessive use of force and leadership unable and unwilling to stop it. So a few minutes ago, my office filed a lawsuit against the mayor of the city of New York, the city of New York, and the leadership of NYPD to end its pattern of using excessive force and making false arrests against New Yorkers during largely peaceful protest. We cannot say that leadership turned a blind eye to what was happening on our city streets because we know they saw it all. We all saw it. We all saw the chilling moment when protester Andrew Smith his face mask pulled down and was then pepper sprayed directly in the face by an officer, an act that was caught on video and seen by millions. After my assault at the hands of NYPD officer Michael Scheer, it is clear to me that the foundation of the police force and our legal, legal system was not intended to recognize and protect the rights of black people. I was uh, peacefully protesting the murder of George Floyd with hundreds of others. I was uh, struck from behind with a baton and uh, I touched uh, my head and my hands were covered in blood. You know, I'm one skinny guy at that time surrounded by dozens of strong officers and body armor. There's no way I'd pose any threat. Um, you know, I think I was assaulted by an irresponsible officer because that officer was sure that he or she would get away with it. An officer walked up to me while swinging his baton and yelled, get back, get back. I immediately started walking backwards in compliance and responded that I was moving back. The next thing I knew, that same officer charged at me. He pushed me to the ground, began attacking me for no apparent reason. Additional officers then joined him and continued to beat me. I told the officers I was simply trying to get home, to which one of the officers threateningly sorry, replied, you picked the wrong time to do that. I was terrified. When the beginning, when the beating finally stopped, they left me on the ground with blood streaming down my face. I was in great pain. I knew I needed medical attention, so I went back to the hospital where I work and had to get seven staples to close the gash in my head. 